completed a pit stop and he's rolling again. So we're set up here now and uh, we will be going green in a little bit to conclude this Pepsi 400 here at Daytona. We'll be right back. Closing billboards. I'm headed down to uh, check on Ricky Rudd. I just he just reported a serious vibration. They told him to nurse at home and see what the problem that is. That graphic is not right. Jarrett's fifth, uh, Rudd is fourth. See, they got Jarrett on the monitor here. That's just somebody hitting the button too soon. Yeah. 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 Yep, the mon NASCAR monitor is wrong. Did you hear that, Mr. Gilbig? Big that, the, that Dale Jarrett is fifth, Rudd is fourth. On your graphics. One to go. ESPN Speed World coverage of the Pepsi 400 being brought to you by Allied Signals Fram Filters. You can pay a little now or a lot later. By Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. And by Valvoline. People who know use Valvoline. About a half a lap away from a restart. They will complete lap 151 when they get the green flag. So we'll have nine laps to go. Now's the time to play whatever strategy you have. How play wild back. will they get? Yeah, that's the question. That's the scary part. <laughs> At least at Talladega, they only had a couple laps to go. They got more laps to go this time. Here are your sleepers that you guys woke up just before the race started. Rick Wilson is ninth. Michael Waltrip is 11th. Mast is 12th. Musgrave 14th. Strickland 15th. And Hensley 19th. But Excepting Michael Waltrip is a lap down. He's, uh, he's really in 20th position, I think. Yeah. It says started on that. That's oh, started. started. I beg your pardon. Right. I beg your pardon. You're talking about start. Okay. But the real sleeper in this group that has been really been running well, he's currently running third, the number eight car, Sterling Marlin. Yeah, and he was asleep and you couldn't get him to the I picture. Can, that's actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, the crowd rises to its feet as we get set for the final few laps of this race. The green flag is out here. Paul Bernhardt is up front. Mitch Schrader, Marlin, Rudd, Jarrett, Urban, Labonte, Gordon, Morgan Shepard, and Ted Musgrave. And Schrader has fallen back a couple of car lengths. About right now, he's going to stand on that thing and try his best. Uh-oh. See, Earnhardt backed off. He backed off, so that would take that... Advantage away from Schrader. See how Michael Walter has pulled ahead. Earnhardt backed off up in the corner. Really smart. It is a smart move, yeah. Knowing that Schrader couldn't dip down to the inside because of the lap car. Yeah, he used Michael Walter perfectly up in one two. What a great job, Erna. Now he's up to speed. He don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. Dale Earnhardt has only won one time here at Daytona, and that was this race in 1990. The fifth car in line there is the other Dale, Jarrett, second in points. But the way it stands right now, Bob, he'll lose points to Dale Earnhardt today. He was 213 behind coming in. We know that both of them have led. Earnhardt has led the most, so he's that's five more points. So that's 218 besides whatever the positions separate him at the end of the race. We well, see a little gap between Dale Jarrett and Ricky Rudd. Is his car a little off the pace, or is he just trying to get a run on these guys? Here's Dale Jarrett's most recent history from lap 120, where he was sixth, fell back to tenth, moved to ninth, and is all the way up to fifth now. As 153 laps are completed, Dale started 13th in the field. Jordan Marlin not able to, doesn't look like that he can keep up with these 
guys in the Chevrolet is the first couple of laps on his restart. It looks like he really needs to run fuel. Yeah, I think it takes a little while for course, to get going. Look at Ted Musgrave here on the move and Bobby Hillen down on the inside. Some good racing back there for, what, about the 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th positions. Mark Martin's back there. He stopped just a moment ago, put on four fresh tires. And look He's going to make it three abreast. Yeah. Down the trials. That's a tough place to do it. But those new tires, apparently, they didn't do that. Well, you got to feel that Ted Musgrave is going to be a very popular driver at the end of this season. He has performed so well in that car, and if he does want to leave the team that he's associated with, you would think that a lot of car owners will be looking at him. Never see Mark Martin going by Morgan Shepard. And Rick Wilson. And Rick Wilson closing in on the back of Ted Musgrave. Up front, it's Dale Earnhardt leading him through the fourth corner on to the tri-oval. Completing 155. Five to go. Irvin making a move on the outside of Dale Jarrett coming off a of turn four. And here's Jeff Gordon trying to pass Jarrett on the outside as well. Oh, they got Dale on the out, hung on the inside. Nowhere to, no one to draft with him yet. Yep. And Ernie Irvin moves up on top of Ricky Rudd. He's found him a groove up there that's working for him. But Rudd comes off the corner and squeezes up right in front of Ernie. Inches. Boy, Rudd has really come on the last few races, including that win last week, and in the top five here in this one. The Unical bonus money is 68400 to Ernie Irvin and Ernie Irvin only. He was a pole sitter. And we can see he's got an awfully fast race car. We can see how he closed up right on the back bumper of Ricky Rudd. Four. Four to go once they get to the line. Bernhardt holds on to win. It will be his fourth victory of 1993. Which will tie him with Rusty Wallace. And here is Ernie Irvin going by Ricky Rudd down on the inside. They're battling for fourth position. But Jeff Gordon pulled up on the back of Ricky Rudd. And said, I got to help my teammate out and put Ernie. Yep. Oh, Sterling Marlin. Evidently he got a little loose or something. Now Gordon is going around Rudd, and everybody's looking for a place around Ricky. I think Ricky had to back off because of uh, Sterling Marlin, yep. from whatever that yep. was. Yep. Here comes Mark Martin on the, with those four fresh tires, he's on the inside with Ernie Irvin. Boy, what a smart move Steve Mill now made to bring him in and put four fresh tires on that car. Sterling Marlin really needs some help. He's falling back. He needs Jeff Gordon to hang on. Say, come on, Jeff. Get right with him. Let's go. Here goes Mark by Dale Jerry. Cars handling very well now. They talked about fighting a push problem. Looks like those four tires taking a lot of that problem away, Dad. Yes, sir. Really just put the car on the go. That was a very, very smart move. Two and a half. Two and a half laps to go. Boy, if Kenny Schrader doesn't win the race, it's sure going to be a moral victory for him because of the problems that he has had this weekend, starting 41st running in second. Two laps to go. 158 are completed. And on our this year at Daytona, Talladega, Daytona almost won the 500 at Talladega. Was the cream of the crop that lost? Can he hold on here today in the Pepsi 400? sign of weakness we've seen today with Earnhardt was on the long runs after 40 50 laps that's not a problem for him right now now he's had several opportunities with these cautions late in the race to cool the tires so that you be right it's not a problem for you. now with about a car length and a half advantage on Ken Schrader as they come on to the tri-oval and look for the white flag there it is one lap to go okay who has what Earnhardt wonders how much this freighter have. It's time to show your stuff if you have any. Jeff Gordon looking to the high side of Sterling Marlin in fourth position. Rudd is in fifth. Earnhardt hangs on to the lead as Gordon drives up right on the back bumper of Sterling Marlin. Oh, here comes Sterling. Schrader on the outside, Sterling on the inside. Just ran out of racetrack, didn't have enough racetrack on the inside to make the move on Earnhardt and had to
to slide up behind him. That could give Dale the advantage and the win, as a matter of fact. Here they come off the fourth corner. Trader and Marlin are side by side. Dale Earnhardt is going to win the Pepsi 400. And for second, it is Marlin just inches over Ken Schrader with Ricky Rudd, I believe, fourth and Jeff Gordon in fifth.